Hello everyone, Kaju here, and welcome back again to another Master Musume Explained video. Today's video is all about the mermaid species. Now I'm sure everyone knows what a mermaid is by now, which is a race that possesses the upper body of a human, but the lower half is that of a fish. Now in Master Musume, only the mermaids have appeared, while their male counterparts, the mermen, have not made a proper appearance. But it is confirmed that they do exist in the Monster Musume universe. Since mermaids live under the sea, they are protected from the interference of the other land-based races and have been able to establish their own civilization beneath the oceans of the world. Because of this, the mermaid civilization is potentially the largest extra species civilization in Monster Musume, since it would be seen to be present throughout the majority of the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. Given the sheer size of the oceans, it can be assumed that there are various mermaid kingdoms and not under a single monarchy. Mermaids also incorporate many other marine extra species into their society, like the fish folk, for example. While little is shown of the mermaid kingdoms, the closest thing shown as to how their society functions is the Mermaid Hotel, which is a land-based classy hotel ran by the royal family accommodating to marine monsters. Now, the mermaid species also deals with an elopement problem and all because of the story of the little mermaid, with mermaids having an obsession for tragic romance, usually involving another species, although the elopement problem was greatly exaggerated by the mermaid queen for the sake of creating drama and tragedy, and also all of this should apply to the merman as well with, with the elopement problem and the obsession for tragedy. Despite being marine creatures, mermaids can also go on land, however, mermaids need to secrete a slippery slime to keep them from drying out, as they can only function upon land if their gills remain moist. These gills are located along the waist and are compatible with both fresh and salt water. In addition to gills, mermaids also have a humanoid respiratory system that allows them for vocalization and breathing through the mouth. This effectively makes them amphibious in the sense that they can breathe air as well. Mermaids have webbing between their fingers to aid in swimming and their pelvic fins which appear to be closer in structure to an unfeathered bird's wing compared to that of any fish's hind fin are the main modes of steering in the water, with propulsion achieved via the muscular tail which has a horizontal fin at the end. However, since the tail is not as long as that of a eel mermaid or a lamia, the mermaids must either drag themselves with their arms and their pelvic fins while on land or use a wheelchair. Like most fish, mermaids have a swim bladder, which is a sac located in their chest that allows them to control their buoyancy. Now if all of the air in this sac was to be expelled, then they would obviously sink. Mermaids vary individually by color of their tail and fins, although the former of which commonly matches the individual's hair color. These colors are often soft, flowery, and bright like that of a tropical fish as opposed to the more solid and hard colors of the fish folk. Now in Monster Musume, there are also various subspecies of the mermaid, that being the eel mermaid, the freshwater mermaid, the shark mermaids, the lamprey mermaids, the tropical mermaids, and the siren. First off are the eel mermaids, which are mermaids with the lower body of that of an eel, with their lower bodies not being too different with that from a lamia. However, unlike most mermaids, they have no trouble living on land, and this is because they produce even more mucus than the standard mermaids, though as a result, they have trouble wearing most clothing materials. Their massage techniques utilizing their mucus are highly advanced, and their mucus possesses cosmetic properties as well, making them popular among other mermaids. They have a tremendous amount of stamina and often stay up all night, making them sleep deprived most of the time. Next up are the freshwater mermaids, which are a subspecies of mermaids, unlike standard mermaids who reside in warm ocean waters. These mermaids regularly travel from rivers to oceans and back again. These stoic mermaids never give up their journey regardless of any fears, rapids, or waterfalls that may stand in their way. Because of this, they have slim and fit bodies. Their colors are more muted than those of the standard mermaid. However, despite being called freshwater mermaids, their namesake contradicts their ability to survive in both freshwater and seawater. Moving on to the shark mermaids, which are a mermaid subspecies armed with sharp teeth and having the tail of a shark. Shark mermaids are entirely carnivorous, a rare trait among the predominantly omnivorous mermaids. 
Their personalities are wild and aggressive. In the past, they engage in pirate-like activities, but more recently, they have begun to abstain from piracy. Like sharks, the skeleton in the lower bodies is made of cartilage, making them very delicate. They are also mentally weak as well. Even when flirting with their potential partners, they are sexually aggressive and straightforward. The fourth subspecies is the lamprey mermaid, which is a mermaid subspecies closely related to the eel mermaids. While they are known for the preferred diet of sucking blood from other beings, lamprey mermaids can subsist on the same diet as conventional mermaids. In Japanese, the lampreys are called Yatsume Unagi, which translates to the eight-eyed eels. The name is derived from the seven external gill slits, which line each side of a lamprey's head section, which along with their actual eye makes it look like they have eight eyes on each side of the face. In some countries, they include the lamprey's nostrils in the count, calling them the nine-eyed eels instead. The next mermaid species is the tropical mermaid, which are a rare subspecies of mermaid found within tropical waters, usually near or within coral reefs. Capable of living in both fresh and salt waters, tropical mermaids are a minority race among the mer races, but are widely famed for their beauty. The majority seem to lead pampered lifestyles because of this. The final subspecies of mermaids are the sirens, which are a subspecies of mermaids that originate from Greek mythology and are widely known for being capable of singing songs so enchanting that it could lure sailors to their deaths. They are also notable for having two fish tails as opposed to one. The original sirens in Greek mythology, however, had the body of a bird and the head of a human female, which was completely different compared to the sirens in Monster Musume. And that pretty much is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one.